What is up guys, I am back from the video and today I'm going over the two Nike Vapor Waffles Akai. We've got the black and white colorway over here, then we got the sports game colorway over here. Now these sneakers are set to release November 13th, 2020 for a retail price of $180. Now we recently saw these sneakers release uh, on November 6th in Europe. So the pre-sale prices that we're seeing now are the pre-sale prices for the US. They're actually already been released. So the prices where they're at now, I can see them dropping just a little bit. Um, if not staying the same. Um, so Nike Sakai has always done very well in the resale market, except for really like the Blazers, but like all the other silhouettes that they've done uh, have gotten really good numbers. I believe that this sneaker here, the Sakai Blue Multi, had like sneaker of the year. Um, and then they normally all do well in resale. I mean, we see all the prices here, a lot of them over $400. And uh, I don't think uh, any one of these sneakers retail to over 200 so it's very very good profit there so let's hop into them so here we got the first colorway uh, super clean colorway uh, I prefer this one over uh, like the game royal I think it was um, I, it's just super simplistic but it has like a complicated look to it and I just really uh, like the silhouette and I like the colorway um, now in terms of resale you can see here um, these are through the roof for $180 for the all sizes being 450 and up that's really good profit margins uh, now, majority of the stock, or like, or all the stocks in my Nike sneakers, besides a couple raffles. Um, so, in order to hit on Nike sneakers, um, you need to have an account, and it's uh, let everyone enter. So, you have two minutes to enter that account, uh, or if you have multiple accounts, which I'll get to in a minute, you can enter in as many accounts as you can within a two-minute window to increase your chances of getting this pair. Now, Nike sneakers is very favorable towards manual users because. It doesn't really glitch out. I mean, it does, but it doesn't. It's it's an easy way to uh, get an entry in, uh, and you can make up to five Nike sneakers accounts on the one credit card. Uh, just the only thing that you need for a Nike account is a uh, the phone number, and obviously an email. But you can create a burner email, no problem. Um, that just takes a little uh, creativeness by making an email and a password, then you're good to go. You just need that phone number. Um, so I'd recommend you talking to your family and friends. So you can use their phone number to make a Nike account. Um, like I said, you make up the five on one account and you can have as many entries as you can within the two minutes. And then after that, you can still enter, but it doesn't really count it. Um, so you miss out regardless of that. So now after the sneaker does release, I do see the prices dropping a little bit. I see them going to around $400 um, for really all sizes. I mean, I would say uh, our best sizes are 6 to 10, uh, 6 to 11 in that range. Um, but really all the sizes are doing very, very well. Um, but as you see here, sizes that are in the 8, you know, in the 8 to 10 range, 6 to 10, uh, they're all upwards of $500, so that's very, very good. Um, so let's move on to the next colorway. And here we have the next colorway. Now this sneaker is also dropping on Nike sneakers. Uh, the same way, the same thing goes with the accounts. You can enter it for this one. Um, it'd be a little uh, difficult to enter in um, five accounts for two different shoes within two minutes. Uh, you just got to be quick with it. you got to be on time. Make sure you're ready uh, right at um, 10 o'clock. If you could have like an iPad or or like a laptop or something, you can also log in Nike sneakers. Uh, it would speed up the process that much more because you had multiple coins accounts logged in and ready to go. Um, so this one goes for the same. So look at some of the highest bids here. Uh, once again, they're around the same here. Uh, they're a little less than the black pair. Um, some black pair have the sizes upwards of five hundred dollars. This one uh, not so much. Once again, sizes I would say go for a size of six to ten, um, but all sizes are going to be profitable. Um, so I'd go for any size and for manual users I would suggest going outside the 6 to 10 range um, because that's where a lot of people are going to be botting and and going for those so if you're going manual I'd recommend you would go outside of that range to increase your chance of getting a sneaker um, it may like the profit may dip just a little bit but it's still a very good profit no matter what size you get and I would rather have uh, a higher chance to make a smaller profit than take a chance on making more profit which may only be twenty thirty dollars I mean when you're making over like hundred fifty dollars for the pair um, that twenty thirty dollars you might get for getting the more uh, profitable size it doesn't seem as much um, as the initial profit for, would be for getting a size outside of that range now for selling the sneaker I would highly recommend selling an eBay lo a local meetups uh, you you will still make a very good profit from StockX but they're gonna take 12% and a price is this high it's gonna be a lot I can imagine they'll take between like 60 and 80 dollars which is absolutely through the roof um, that's kind of absurd for a seller's fee uh, eBay has a 0% seller's fee and they just open up a new authentication uh, system so the sneaker is auth authenticated so people um, have more confidence in buying an eBay because they know they're going to get an authentic product the way that it was listed. Uh, and then also local meetups are obviously a really good way to do it. Cash is king. 
um, then you can make connections that way as well. So there you got for you guys on this video. Uh, I hope you enjoyed. Before I leave, I want to shout out my Instagram, Valued Kicks. If you guys can go over and give that a follow, much appreciated. And uh, if you guys can like and subscribe, like 70% of people watch my videos are not subscribed. Uh, and I feel like everybody comes away uh, pretty happy what they learned about you know, about the product, about the sneaker, and about the resale value. If, if you guys give a like, subscribe, and much appreciated. I'm trying to hit 200, I'm trying to hit 200 subs by the end of the year. See you guys next video.